Welcome back to the world of Ashan, the setting of all our Might and Magic games. Let us take you back in time, 400 years before Heroes 5, at the time of the second Blood Moon Eclipse. Once again, demons are swarming out of the bowels of Shi'ar. To repel the invasion, the various nations of Ashan will have to set aside their petty quarrels and unite their forces. The Knights of the Holy Empire and the Necromancers of the Seven Cities will get help from the most unexpected of allies. The Orcs! Way back during the first eclipse, the peoples of Ashen were in really bad shape. Uh, demons were pouring out of Shehog and they, they were being overrun. Uh, what they eventually did was they called upon the Wizards of the Seven Cities to come up with a solution. And they got this kind of unkosher idea and started injecting demon blood into criminals. Uh, these criminals ended up turning into what we now call the orcs. And the orcs were demon bashers. And these orc armies then pushed the demons back into Shehog, and there was a relative time of peace. Now the wizards were extremely proud of what they'd accomplished. The orcs had won the war. And so they decided to keep the orcs as slaves. Now, orcs will be orcs. Uh, they didn't really like the situation, so they eventually rebelled and they fought and they won their own freedom. And by the time you get up to Hero 6, there are still a lot of animosity in people that preferred them in chains. Sandor is the bastard child of Duke Slava of Griffin and his first love, the beautiful Lady Elizabeth. A political burden since birth, he soon became a troublemaker and found an outlet for his frustration and anger alongside his father's master of arms, the Orc, Kral. Imagine the Duchy of Griffin and the Duchy of Wolf, they've been feuding for decades. Sanders, that son that just finally can't put up with it anymore. He stands up to Duke Gerhardt, the, the Duke of Wolf, and gets himself in trouble. Uh, it leads to exile. Kral takes Sander into the Red Skull Islands. This is where Crow was born. It's, it's orc country, right? Think dancing with jaguars, uh, blood like rituals. Sanders confronted with everything that it means to be an orc, and he becomes a war chief. He's popular, he amasses a huge horde, a giant army, and goes back into the Holy Empire. Whether he becomes the savior of the empire or the conqueror, that, that, that's really up to the player to decide. The orc strategy on the battlefield is pretty straightforward. Rush now, think later. The stronghold creatures are fast, highly mobile, brutal, and tough. Their melee damage output is simply the best in the game. They have thick skin, brutal determination, high pen threshold, and an innate resistance to magic. And their faction ability, the blood rage, improves their already impressive offensive capacities. 